Hi everyone, welcome to this video in how to start with Cursor Kit script for After Effects. And yeah, this tool will allow you to create cursor elements for your video prototypes and automatic animations for them. Let's go to After Effects and check it out. So I have an animated user interface here with a simple transition right there. But in order to showcase this as a video prototype, we need to add a cursor pointer. To do that, I just select the composition where I want to have the mouse cursor and I just hit create cursor. As you can see, the cursor composition is created on top of the layer list here. And it has already an, eff an effect applied to it. Here you can control this, the size and the opacity. In my case, I guess I'm just gonna go and hit, uh, I guess, 50% because it's too big and that will do it. So now I want to animate. To animate, I'm just gonna hit position, click on the stopwatch and move forward a little bit just to create another one. Uh, let's see, I want to move here. There we go. So I need to change the mouse at this point because uh, I wanna add a hover effect. To do that, again, let's make sure we are in selecting the composition and I just hit the mouse type that I want to change. Let's say this hand, and it's already there. And it will animate, It will the change will happen in the, in, in the current time. So if we go inside the composition, the cursor composition, we will find this changing happening at all layers here. You see, it will be automatically animated with whole frames that's really practical and I want to add a click effect here so I just come and I click it so again make sure you're this and just hit in actions panel click what that will do is adding this click effect that we see in video prototypes again if we go into our cursor comp you will realize there is a shape layer already animated with an easing and everything. You can change anytime these things. And then you can change also the color. I'm going to add probably just a gray color here. Perfect. Uh, let's make it white. All right. So I arrive. The mouse has to change here or around here so I can just move all the keyframes or just one keyframe actually but I like to move all of them so you have freedom you have control over your animation and that's that's pretty much it if you want to change your cursor many times you can just hit any of the different options you have there even if you want to add um, a mobile then if you're on mobile this will add many keyframes each time you click. It's just controlling the opacity. Easy to use, but really practical. Okay. All right, so now I want to show you the other features of the tool. I want to create now placement a replacement of this object on top of this one so for that it's uh, we're gonna be using drag and the other cursor elements here let's jump right into the creating part here I'm gonna create my cursor already I'm gonna scale it down and let's keyframe this already So now I'm going to change the, the cursor here. I want to 
replace it for a hand so it's giving the user the feedback of you know i'm gonna i can take this object and when i have this then i'm gonna change to grab the whole element there and then from here i'm gonna parent this object to the cursor so because the cursor is gonna try it's gonna be uh, driving the other object so i'm gonna start by doing that so i'm just gonna move it around here and then from here i'm gonna animate this object manually so it's free i duplicated actually that layer twice here or just once and so i have a different i don't have all the time this the, the element moving with the cursor uh, that's something quick that i did but you can all, of course uh, create a rig for that and yeah let's just then drop this one here free the object here so free the thing and then the animation starts right away yep so something like this and so now I want to really really show that I was running I was clicking and holding in here like here starting from here so for that I'm gonna start by clicking in drag but that's gonna create this this ring effect here and if I want to change the color again I just go here change it from white or whatever and it's gonna be holding all the time the, the ring shape and as soon as I wanna you know free the click I'm saying okay I'm holding all this time and then here I'm, I'm just you know freeing the object here and let it in go so for that you can just um, hit shift and then again drag and you will have this little window saying you will drag on uh, your object or you drag will be until here you click accept and then you can see the animation will will uh, play uh, backwards so you have this nice you know feedback for the user saying that you know the ring it's gonna you you're unclicking or you're letting go uh the, the hold effect the holding down so yes that's it for the normal cursor let's jump into the mobile cursor i have the same thing but i want to change it for let's say it's a mobile uh, platform the layout would, would be different as well but just for the sakes of um, you know for the sake of doing this tutorial I'm just gonna show you with the same thing that we did just now I'm just gonna change the icon to mobile is this one and then I'm gonna start dragging or clicking here if I click and hold from here let's say I'm just gonna go ahead and drag click on drag that's gonna you know create that that scaling that we see in mobile um, you know icons that we do when we are doing prototypes and then we're letting let it go the object here so again shift and drag and that will create the your drag onto here and then we have the scaling back again to the original size so yeah that's pretty much for dragging there you go so far we have most of the cursor types uh, already showcased so let's check the last one which is the uh, you know text typewriter effect and just a test icon is really simple i'm gonna start by creating again i mean 
composition pages too. So I'm just gonna create my cursor here. All right, so from here, I'm gonna have a change of cursor here. Let's say I want to have now a text because I'm actually moving into this field. If then I click, then I'm gonna have a click effect here. Click, and the click there. And then I want to change to that. I'm just gonna hit shift and click again here. And that's gonna create this um, layer on top, which is actually the text layer here. So this layer is gonna have the properties that you used before and I want to then change the text and as you can see it's gonna be automatically animated there so I just I'm just gonna play again the animation yes so it's too fast we have the color here you can change always the color of the, of the font or your text there and I'm also gonna change the speed if I hit one what's that gonna do it's gonna almost um, type one character each second so yes you can also um, then offset the animation for example if I click here let's say I have the marker here and I don't want the animation right to start you know they overlap so I can always move this slider here and we are gonna have always this animated um, element here saying that it's waiting for the user to type which is really nice but actually I've just wanted to start one, one second after so there we go it will start one second after so yeah that's pretty much it for the typing cursor so the last feature is really simple I'm gonna create my cursor here and let's say I want to have a scrolling effect um, I actually I personally don't like this this feature uh, it, it was just added because uh, some people requested and I was doing that a lot in the video so this is just gonna add something really easy and for example I want then this object to be scrolling of course you're gonna just animate this but sometimes and just sometimes you're gonna need a feedback saying that yeah of course you're scrolling and the mouse has to change somehow not in not all the cases is like this um, I just wanted to to add it to add this so you have some kind of visual statement saying that you're scrolling so for that I just gonna you know add scroll uh, hit the, this to button so this case I'm scrolling down so that's what it does just adds a uh, text again you can change the color or even you know, the size or the opacity uh, normally you control that with your character um, the panel here um, and it will it will be animated already really simple animation you can also of course extend it you have full control over it and yes that's what it will do so if you wanna have also a scroll up let's say after it's gonna be scrolling up then you just hit scroll up and then the animation will be there it's gonna be creating these different layers one on top of another because I want to have uh, freedom if you're then moving your layer your cursor layer then you can just parent th 
these ones to your cursor cam player and it will move around with it but i would like to have freedom with this and just you know probably animate this in a different way so that's why i just um, let it out it was before in another script um, version i had this uh, parented already but it, it was better to have it like this so that's it thank you for watching this video 